luck with a chicken with dragons. My name is Roy. And today we are making the liquid, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, Glossette, Glossetti. This recipe was requested to make by ATX Guy. Oh yeah, ATX Guy, interesting name. The name's Guy, ATX Guy. This recipe is going to have half ounce of Cool Swan Irish Cream, awesome stuff. It's also going to have one fourth of an ounce of Black Sambuca, go with Ramona, Ramona. And one fourth of an ounce of Coffee Liqueur, go with Patron Cafe, except Ca Patron Exo Cafe. The reason I'm using Coffee Liqueur in this is because I find whenever you apply it to something that has an anise flavor like black licorice or Jägermeister it always seems to like balance it out you know like for some somehow coffee seems to like balance out that full brundle licorice attack really at least that's how I see it but yeah oh this recipe is also going to have one teaspoon of Nutella which is a hazelnut spread with cocoa. Never had Nutella before, so figured I'd use it. So, what is a glossette? Or a glossetti? I don't know. Glossette. So, what is a glossette? A glossette is a Canadian candy that I think is almost exclusive to Canada. They come in three different flavors. They come in, you can get almond, peanut, or raisin. I went with, I'm going with something that, I'm trying to make something that tastes like a ra chocolate covered raisin, so I figured why not go with Black Sambuca. So yeah, this was requested, so I'm going to do it. So, let's do it. So, this is going to be a shaking cocktail. We're going to straight it into this square shot glass here, because why the hell not? Oh, also, Nutella is made in Canada. This Nutella is made in Canada. So, we got a Canadian ingredient here. Yo. A. <laughs> so, one fourth of an ounce of coffee liqueur. Liqueur. Boston. One fourth. One fourth an ounce of black sambuca. If you can't get black sambuca, you could probably get away with me you could probably get away with Jägermeister. Okay, maybe not. Black sambuca. If you like licorice, this is your go this is your this is what you go to. If you don't like licorice, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Last but not least, half ounce of Cool Swan Irish Cream, the best Irish cream on the planet. At least I think so, anyway. Mm. Half ounce of that. There we go. So now we will give a nice spoonful of that. Mm. It's almost like pudding. That should be good. Never had Nutella before, actually, till now. Oh wow, that's freaking delicious! So now we'll get some ice in there. Okay, now we'll shake it up. Shake it up real good. I don't know what that is. That should do it. 
pretty cold now. Strain into a shot glass. Perfect. Look at that. That took on the shape of the tiller there. <laughs> Probably top that off with some whipped cream if you wanted to. So, here we have the liquid dust set. Dust dirty. However you pronounce it. <laughs> so, basically, a dust dirty is pretty much a chocolate covered raisin or a chocolate covered peanut or almond, something like that. So, let's shoot it up now, shall we? I think that did it. Gotta have the old dragon in there. That kind of tastes like a raisin. That's what I was going for too. <laughs> Something that tastes like a raisin but doesn't have a raisin in it. Those are the kind of shots that get you. It's really good though. It's nice and creamy, nice and milk chocolatey. You get the black licorice in there, which kind of makes it taste like a raisin. At least to me, anyway. It's really nice. You probably don't have to use black sambuca if you don't want to. You could probably just use uh, clear sambuca if you wanted to. Just something to give it that sort of licorice flavor. Because, like I said, licorice plus coffee, awesome. Plus you get a nice chocolate notes too from the Cool Swan. Nice creamy vanilla creamy notes. Alright. Liquid Dust Set. Requested by ATX Guy. Thank you for watching. My name is Roy for Jacob with Dragons. We are exploring the world of alcohol. See you next time and drink responsibly.